your readers know when they do not understand what they are reading? In this lesson, you will learn how to determine the main idea of in a paragraph by looking at the first and last sentence and asking, what is this paragraph teaching me? So let's go ahead and review. In the previous lessons, we learned the importance of paying attention to this title and subtitles to determine the topic and also to determine what the text was going to be about. In the last lesson, we learned how to use a glossary to find the meaning of unknown words. A common mistake that readers make is that they start reading and they don't stop to ask themselves, what is this part of the text really about? When you don't know what something is about, this causes readers to not understand. So, when we're looking at an important text, the problem is readers don't pay attention to the first sentence of the paragraph. And oftentimes, authors leave really big clues in the first and last sentences to help the reader get a general picture of what they're trying to share with you within each paragraph. So right here, I'm going to take a look at the first paragraph. We already talked about the title and the, he the subtitle, so now we're going to read the first paragraph. Over 200 years ago, before the United States even existed, an Old South meeting house in Boston, patriots were preparing for something very important. Men painted their faces, put on moccasin shoes, and wore whatever they thought would make them look like Mohawk Indians. Some even took hatchets and clubs. The weapons were not meant to injure anyone. They would only be used to break open wooden crates. So wow, there was a lot of information just in that one paragraph. So I have to remember that my first step is going to be looking at the first and last sentences and asking, what is this paragraph teaching me? So my first sentence is over 200 years ago before the United States even existed in Old South Meeting House in Boston, patriots were preparing for something important. Great. Great first sentence because it tells me a lot about patriots. Then I'm going to go ahead and look at the last sentence. The weapons were not meant to injure anyone. They would only be used to break open wooden crates. So my big takeaways here, this event happened over 200 years ago. It involved the patriots. But in that last sentence, I think the key thing to take away is that they weren't meaning to injure anyone. Perhaps people thought maybe they were. Hmm. So now I'm going to go ahead and on my post-it notes, I'm going to summarize the first sentence of the paragraph, which essentially was that the Patriots were preparing for an important event over 200 years ago. That gives me the main point of the first sentence of that paragraph. Now I'm going to go ahead and add that to the summary of the last sentence of the paragraph, which was that Patriots were trying to be peaceful and not harm anyone. So, now my main goal here is to try to summarize the main point of the paragraph. So what is this paragraph mainly talking about? Well, combining the first sentence and the last sentence, I can really come up and develop a sentence that really summarizes the whole thing. Which is that patriots were preparing for an important event that was peaceful over 200 years ago. So I kind of used the idea of combining both my summaries to really give me an overarching idea of what this paragraph was mainly about. So in review, after reading each paragraph, here's what you need to do. First, reread the first and last sentence. Second, ask, what is this paragraph teaching me? Finally, jot down the main idea. So in this lesson, you learned how to determine the main idea of a paragraph by looking at the first and last sentence and asking yourself, what is this paragraph teaching me?